Hello boys and girls, how well? I'm inside Chaotic. We're going to be looking at the item farming build today to give you some good loot from the available chests in the game. First up, you're going to run Plunderer's Instinct. You're going to see the chests when you're within a 32 meter range. They will glow up. You'll see them through walls, above, below, behind trees. They will stand out. And you've got a considerably better chance of finding an item of higher rarity from chests. So that's your first one. Ace in the hole. When retrieving an item from a chest, there's a 100% chance that a very rare or lower add-on will be attached to it. And there's also a 50% chance of finding another add-on of uncommon, uncommon rarity or lower. So there's a big chance that you're going to get two add-ons attached to whatever you find in the, with Plunderer's Instinct. Third up, we're going to be running Bond. Allies always are revealed to you when they're within a 36 metre range. Leith so we can burst into a sprint, climbing over a window or over a pallet when we're being chased. And a Tarnish coin to create one more chest to find some awesome loot with Plunderer's Instinct and Ace in the Hole. So with Plunderer's Instinct and Ace in the Hole, there's a very good chance of getting some really nice loot. I've run it a couple of games and you can also share the chest with your teammates. Just open the chest and when they go over to it, they'll be able to grab the item with the extra add-ons. So as you can see, we're up against Freddy. Here's the lullaby. So I'll give you an example. You saw the chest lighting up in pink from quite a distance away. So you knew exactly where it was. So with a bit of that, we'll get something nice. And uh, we've got a pink map with one green add-on. So a pink map is a rare item, so that's a good start. Only had the one attachment, but like it's a one in two chance of getting two attachments. So keep light around the map for any pink chests within 32 meters. Nothing showing up by here. But the rainbow map are, are very good to use, especially with the right add-ons. Oh, Freddy's coming over. At one point of this game, I wanted to quit. You'll see the part that I mean. I had enough. But didn't end up quitting. Got ended up getting saved. And the rest is history. Sounds like Freddy may have seen me. Yes, he has. So enjoy the gameplay of the item farming build.
Okay, gotta try and find the patch on this rather large map. Freddy's near. Hear the lullaby. I'm guessing he's using barbecue, so get in the locker so we can't see my aura. Now, which corner of the map will it be? We're carrying a purple medkit. I don't want to get hit by him because he's running Franklin's demise. Uh oh, I can hear him. Looks like he spotted me. Checking all available corners. And job done. You can hear it. Quite an unusual place inside the shack. Quite, quite unusual. So there's Plunder's Instinct and Ace in the Hole in a gameplay for you. If you, you could take out Bond to put um, self care in. That's another option, but I like Bond because it offers you so much more than just finding other people to heal you. It's great for jumping on generators together and seeing where the best people are. So there we go, we had a lovely purple med kit with two add-ons. Didn't expect to get to that game alive, hence why I tried to jump off the hook and sacrifice myself. But we had 22k, Freddy uh, had quite a good setup. So we're happy with that build. Hope you enjoyed our item farming build. Thanks for watching, guys, girl. This is iChaotic bidding you farewell.